so um, I am vlogging a little bit today or I plan to um, but I thought that I would put out a video this just kind of like you know a little list of stuff I'm sure you know from the title why you're here so um, I want to talk about the five worst things about being fat talk about the five worst things about being fat and not only just being fat but being fat and also being a college student so one of the things i want to talk about is discrimination and i know what you're thinking destiny you're black um aren't there worse things than being discriminated um for your weight and my take on that i feel like in my lifetime i've been discriminated more against for my weight than for my skin color um whenever i'm in a fight with someone or someone wants to insult me the first thing they go after is my weight rather than my skin color um any difference that you have there's going to be a way for someone to take that and to discriminate against you for it whether you know if, if we all had the same skin color it would be your hair color and if we all had the same hair color it'd be eye color and then it, it would be height you know everything there is is something that you can be discriminated against so I feel like discrimination in um, I've had professors that have discriminated against me I've had people I've had insults even my own family sometimes um, but really um, think that's probably like the worst thing is like even if sometimes I'm not being discriminated against I might feel like it um, being discriminated against at the doctor um, I go in for a headache and they say, you need to lose weight. You have a headache because you are overweight. And, you know, those things don't really correlate. So, it's just things like that. So, discrimination um, is one of the things I wanted to talk about. The next thing that I wanted to talk about is um, sweat. So, I am a really just kind of sweaty person. Like, um... I'm wearing this right now, it's really thin and it's 40 degrees outside. So I'm wearing this to go out because I prefer the cold weather because I'm always so hot and I get hot really easy and I sweat really easily. And it's like a lot of sweat. It's like dripping down my forehead. It's like going through my clothes. It's like a lot of sweat. So um, that's one of the worst things I think is, especially when you live on a college campus, where you walk to and from classes. I live, um, about a 15 minute walk from central campus and then you have to walk to and from every building for your classes. So um, when it's cold outside, you're supposed to layer up. You're supposed to put on, you know, a shirt and a jacket and a coat and a scarf and a hat and, you know, two pairs of pants and four, two pairs of socks. Like it was four degrees the other day. Um, and I won't, I'll just wear a jacket and everyone's like, you're gonna freeze to death. And it's like, I would rather be cold then walk to my classes, get inside and be so hot and then I just get instantly sweaty. Um, and I don't know if the sweat is because of my weight or if it's just because I'm a naturally sweaty person, but um, I know a lot of people, you know, you see a fat person sweating, you're gonna think, oh, they're so fat, you know, they didn't even walk that far and they're like already sweaty, they're already tired. Um, but yeah, that's like one of the worst things I think about living on campus is walking everywhere, always being sweaty, and then it's not even hot yet. Like this is winter and I'm talking about hating being sweaty. So um, yeah, that's, that's, that's the next one. The next thing I wanna talk about is actual like lecture halls. So um, lecture hall is, you know, one of those big giant rooms and it has, you know, 500, four or 500 students in it. Um, and you all just listen to the teacher. So they have these desks and I'm gonna, or these seats and I'm gonna try to insert a picture here. they're so small and then they have this little desk like top and you flip it down on top of you I don't really fit in those chairs I can fit like I can flip it and it can close but I'm squished and you know you look over and you see the next girl and she's got like this much room in between like her stomach and like the desk so I hate those I always have to sit all the way in the back where they have like just long tables and chairs so it's a table and a chair instead of this teeny tiny like seat and then also you know you're sitting next to all these people and you're shoulder to shoulder and then when you're my size I feel like I'm just taking up too much space and I feel kind of inconsiderate 
basically for sitting next to people, you know what I mean? And then again with the sweat thing, like I'm sweating and I'm fat and I'm sitting here in between these people and I just feel really inconsiderate for taking up so much room. Um, gosh, I hate those desks so much. Uh, one of my classes right now, we have those desks, but they're individual chairs instead of like lined up and they're back to back, like they're like this is the end of the front of the desk, here's the back of the chair and they're like that. And my knees hit the girl's chair in front of me and like I can't bend to get out of the way, I can't like scoot back, there's nothing I can do and it's the most uncomfortable thing and I don't know if I can ask my professor like is there a reason that these desks are like touching? Like I think there's enough space in the room to you know separate it out a little bit but uh yeah so that's one of my biggest things is this lecture halls, desks, things that are not um you know, are not made to accommodate someone larger than a size 10. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about is having low self-esteem. So I know this might not be an issue for all um, plus size or overweight people, but for me it is. Um, going to college, you're moving away from your friends and your family, and you're supposed to come to college and it's supposed to be the best time of your life and you're supposed to make friends and um, make connections, maybe find a boyfriend or a girlfriend. And um, for me, it's so hard. It's so hard to put myself out there and to introduce myself to people because I always feel like I'm being judged for weight. And I'm thinking, would these people just like me better if I wasn't fat? So um, I had a lot of self-esteem issues. Um, I just always feel really um, bad about myself, which I know is like dumb. It's like college is not the same as high school for sure. Like people are not mean. Um, I would say at this college is so much better than my high school. There are not mean people. There's not really drama unless you want there to be. Um, but it is, I've, it's, you know, the middle of the second semester of my first year. I haven't made any new friends. Like I know my sweet mates that live like right outside, but I haven't really met new people only people that my friends have introduced me to. I haven't on my own made a friend. And it's really um, stressful to think about because I'm like, I should be thriving, but I'm so insecure that it's really hard to put myself out there and make friends. But yeah, that's low self-esteem. Like I said, might not be an issue for all plus size or overweight or fat people, but um, it is for me personally. And the last thing I want to touch on is clothing. So, um, <clears throat> This isn't an issue just in college. This is an issue everywhere for a lot of overweight people. It's so hard to find comfortable clothes that fit the way they're supposed to and also look cute. Um, my current attire is always a big sweatshirt and jeans and tennis shoes. I wish that I had the confidence to wear, you know, more skin tight things, more dresses, and also that I could, I do like have some dresses and like some cute tops and that they, they just never fit right if they don't fit right on the chest area or in the stomach area or on your arms that are too tight. And it's like, I'll find something and it fits so well in this area and not well in this area. And it's just so upsetting. Um, I don't have such a problem with pants. Um, as long as it's high-waisted, usually um, I don't have an issue. But for tops and for dresses and like, here's how I want to dress. And here is how I do dress. That's just kind of like my, you know, it's all I, it's all I know. And I think that, you know, there's a lot more inclusive, like inclusivity um, in stores now. Like Target has a really good plus size section. It's just, I feel, I want to say I feel bad when I buy clothes in my size. Um, you know, when I see an extra large or a 2X um, and I buy that, I feel bad because I'm like, well, what what with like when I lose weight, like I'm not gonna be able to wear this stuff. I'm wasting my money. Um, but I do want to buy clothes. Like I do want a nice wardrobe and I, you know, I, I want to dress cute and I want to dress skimpy sometimes and I want to, I don't want to feel confident and I want to wear high heels, but, um, I feel like dressing nice, even wearing makeup, I'm wearing like a little under the eye right now and like some lip gloss. I feel like I'm trying too hard. I feel like I'm drawing attention to myself. Um, I don't want people to see my weight, so I should wear clothes that cover my weight and that make sure that people aren't able to, you know, see me. Um, 
so your makeup it makes people you know people look at you because you look pretty and I don't want to be looked at and so that was kind of um, my issue I have with makeup sometimes like I don't think I this is the most I'll go I put like some stuff to lighten up my dark and some mascara and some lip gloss like I will never do like a full face of makeup I don't know it just makes me feel uncomfortable so clothing makeup things like that is like I wish I could do better I wish I could try harder but I don't because I don't want to be seen I don't know just things like that on is um body shape so women who are my size or um, I'm a size 18 so women who are size 18 or 16 or 14 um, are considered plus size but are also expected to have curvy bodies um, I hate that <laughs> because I know a lot of plus size women who have um, maybe really large uh, breasts and a big stomach and really small legs or really big legs and a really big butt and like no chest and uh, a flat stomach for me I have like I feel like I'm pretty proportionate but I don't have a big butt <laughs> and I feel like people expect me to have a big butt because I have a really small waist and um, really large thighs but my butt is absolutely non-existent so I think the body shape expectations for um, people my size is really dangerous and it's really um unachievable in some ways i'm sure like if i did squats every single day um I, my butt would get bigger but at the same time it's like why can't you accept the way my body naturally has grown um obviously this is a weight loss channel i'm trying to lose weight but still it's the expectation of a body shape that you're supposed to have when you're size 16 you're supposed to be curvy with a small waist and just a fat ass and like that is it like you can't have weight here and you can't have weight there but for me it's like I don't know I just think that that's one of those things that it's like unrealistic um, and you shouldn't expect that of yourself to have a certain body type when you're size 16 or 14 or an 18 and like you shouldn't expect yourself to be you know perfect with a big butt and big tits and flat stomach and big thighs and you know I'm I think that is just unrealistic and I think that's really um bad image for people to have of people my size so yeah well that is all I have for you guys today I will make another one saying some good things about being overweight um some things that aren't really that bad that I think um, can be kind of nice sometimes so uh, thank you for watching have a wonderful day have a wonderful week and have a wonderful year